Keyboard shortcuts are great, but there are also some hidden Excel double click features and shortcuts available for mouse users. Let me know in the comments which was your favorite shortcut and also let me know any that I missed. And be sure to watch to the end where I share a fun clip from my favorite TV show, Modern Family, where Manny is teaching Jay how to double click. When working in large spreadsheets, you need all the space you can get. So we can quickly hide and unhide the ribbon by double clicking on the ribbon tabs and then double click to open it again. And if you have Microsoft 365, you can also switch to the new compact toolbar, which is in preview. This simplified ribbon, as it's also known, displays the commands in a single line, which frees up space so you can see more spreadsheet. And to revert back, click on the drop down and go back to classic. If you have shapes and images in your file, then clicking on an image will activate the contextual tab, but it doesn't bring it to the front. The shortcut is to double click the image and that brings the tab to the front. You may find that after you initially insert a shape or an image or an icon in this case, that the contextual tab appears automatically and you can click away and go back to that shape or image and it comes back. But if you were to edit a cell and let me F2 to edit this cell and then press enter and then select the shape or image, you can see the contextual tab is active, but it's not at the front. So the best way is to just double click and that will ensure the contextual tab pops to the front ready to use. When you're inside a dialog box, for example, let's say I want to add some cells in here. I can control plus brings up the insert dialog box and I can choose to insert an entire row and then click OK, or I can just double click the selection and I don't need to press OK as well. And this works in most dialog boxes. So give it a go next time you're working in a dialog box. You can double click on a cell to go into edit mode. Double clicking on the cell range selects the whole range, whether that's a single cell reference or a range of cells. And if you triple click, you select the whole cell contents. And then if you wanted to copy it or cut it, it's easy from there. We can quickly open pivot table dialog boxes by double clicking column headers. For the header of row labels, you need to position your mouse so that the arrow appears and then double click brings up the field settings in this case. We'll do the same for the category. Again, field settings. And for value fields, you need to get your mouse right in the middle of the cell and double click. And then we have the value field settings. We can drill down and up on pivot table expanded fields. In this case, I have two row labels. So my year is automatically grouped and I can collapse that field by double clicking inside it. And likewise, I can expand by double clicking the header cells. And if I wanted to see the underlying transactions, for example, that make up this clothing value here, I can simply double click on the cell. It opens a new sheet and it gives me the individual items that make up that value. We can easily navigate by positioning our mouse cursor right on the edge of the cell and double clicking. It will go in the direction of the side of the cell that you've selected. And if you hold down shift, you can select the whole column and the whole table. We can auto fit columns and rows by double clicking on the line when our mouse cursor changes to the double headed arrow. We can auto fit a whole sheet by selecting the whole sheet and then double clicking any column and likewise for the rows. We can quickly copy formulas by double clicking in the bottom right hand corner of the cell. It will copy the formula down as long as there's contiguous data in an adjacent column, whether that's on the left or the right. And lastly, we can enable multiple applications of the Format Painter by double clicking the icon and then selecting the data that we want to paste it onto. We can select a range of data and we can apply those formats as many times as we need. When we're done, we press the Escape key to clear the Format Painter. Oh, Jay, just double click here.
Didn't work. Well, that's because you didn't double click. You just clicked twice. What the hell's the difference? Double click. See? That's exactly what I did. Double click. No, you're still just clicking twice. Listen to me. Double click, not double click. I'm not an idiot. Double click! You can't possibly think that's the same thing. It's the exact same thing! Double click! Double click! Oh, what the? It's the first time I've ever used the F word. I hope you found these shortcuts useful. You can download the quick reference cheat sheet for this lesson from the link here. And if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more.